Hi, I'm Dr. Lou Tepperman. Uh, I am the Director of Transplantation for Northwell uh, and Professor of Surgery and Medicine at the Hofstra Northwell School of Medicine. I've been uh, a physician who took care of many of your patients and I want you to know that Northwell is the place to come and North Shore is the place to come for transplants. We have dedicated transplant unit that was put together. It has the highest and the best and in innovative technology, EICU. So I can communicate to the patients, communicate to the nurses and doctors in real time. They can see me, I can see them. We can all see the vitals and have a conversation. If something goes wrong in the middle of the night, we are there not just at the bedside, but also from this EICU technology. We have the best physicians from all around the world who have joined us. You can get your patients uh, seen by us, transplanted by us, and during this issue and time of COVID, we know how to do it. Um, I've been lucky enough to have been tapped for Northwell to lead provider safety, but also from the American Society of Transplant Surgeons to lead the strike force to how to handle COVID, how to manage COVID and transplantation during these unique times. A good example was a recent case that we performed transplantation on, acute fatty liver of pregnancy. Uh, this lady would have died uh, and, and her child would not be with us and now she goes home two weeks later after her transplant. Please watch this video and you'll see more details about access to care and her story. And on access to care, we are available 24-7. You can call us with any of your patient needs. We have a liver number, 833-4-LIVERS. Call me anytime about any patient care issue. Yeah. Hi. Look how cute that is. Her expected due date was August 13th. Well, I did not expect to wake up on June 11th to have an emergency C-section because of a fatty liver. She was two months premature. Dealing with that alone is stressful, but to have a wife that's sick in ICU as well, that possibly at the time needed a liver transplant, it was definitely overwhelming. They explained everything, you know, possible liver issues, maybe liver transplant. And I'm like, there's no way, there's no way. I never had any issues with my liver. The delivering of the baby was supposed to alleviate all those issues. But it didn't work, you know, and that works 99.5% of the time. In this case, it did not, a very rare event. Within two weeks, it just kind of went downhill. She, um, she slowly started to deteriorate. She didn't know where she was. She didn't remember her birthday. To be honest, I don't even remember anything that happened. I went into a, a coma. The whole time I'm thinking, that there's a possibility I might, not, I might have to raise this kid on my own. I spoke to um, Angelo, the husband. I said, we're declaring her status one. We will find her an organ. She gets to be the highest category in the United States, but it was a race, a life and death race. And then that's it. And then I woke up and I had a liver transplant. Adversity was turned into triumph. Someone had died, a donor, a young donor, and we were able to get an organ and we placed it and, uh, you know, within the next morning she was awake. It's a miracle that they were able to find the donor that quickly. You know, this is a difficult experience to begin with, but to have everybody being so attentive and supportive and loving made it a little easier. Sometimes transplantation is an accident of time because we had just gotten out of, you know, the really severe COVID and we just opened, you know, in the middle of June to start doing liver transplants again. So, you know, they were incredibly blessed and lucky. This is the last step. Yeah. She was able to leave the hospital at about two weeks after the transplant. I don't think Danielle would have made it if she went anywhere else. 
I really believe that. The whole, the whole liver team, the whole crew, all of them, saved my life. She's smiling. She now gets to take care of her newborn child at home. Nothing could have made me happier. She's a strong little cookie. She does everything a newborn should be doing. She's amazing. Thank God. Thank God for that. I finally have my whole family home.